Hello friends, welcome to valuetrainings.com. This is Priya. Today we are going to start with some of the few concepts related to endpoints, resources and methods. Let's start. What is the meaning of endpoint? So let's, if I see here, okay, and see endpoint is something which is going to be the server name, including the server name or the website name on which I am currently working or the domain. Actually, it is a domain only. Okay, this is uh, the thing which I am saying here. This is uh, in the layman terms I am saying just. Okay, so the domain includes the website name as well as the messaging protocol which I am using. Okay, as I suggest you, as I tell you in my last in my last video, I did tell you we are going to work on the Apache Tomcat and it is actually working on the localhost 8080 as its port. Localhost 8080 is the port on which localhost is my server and the 8080 is the port on which it is deployed it is running okay and including the messaging protocol which is going to be HTTP HTTPS or any other protocol in which your application on which your web service is actually running with that protocol okay and for my retail application in which I am going to work it is this one so this is uh, these are all the URLs on which I am going to work okay list of URLs you can see which I am going to work which I am going to deploy which I am going to show so the very first URL if you see it is over here right so the three URLs which are there I'll do one thing I'll just copy all of these three URLs which are coming from the retail application on which I'm going to work in my session in my modules and if I delete just a second let me do it first then I tell you okay so these are the three URLs out of my all the URLs and what you can see messaging protocol HTTP which I'm using localhost 80 is the port 80 is the port the location on which my server is running right and after that these are the rest thing so we are talking about endpoint so endpoint is still this till 8080 is going to buy going to be my endpoint okay and one more thing endpoint is the common part of all the urls out of these three you can say till admin is your endpoint but this is not the right way to explain the endpoint that the common part no Endpoint is something which is the part of a URL that is the including the messaging protocol which is HTTP, -E, HTTP and the server including the port on which that particular server is running. Okay, so what will be the endpoint for my retail application? It is still 8080. Okay, so this is all about endpoint. Now let's come to the next topic for today is about the resources. So resources are what? If you see in a single URL, this is my single URL, if I just copy it over here. Resources are something which are going to provide me some service. Provide me one of the service. Of all the, within a web service, we, we can have many services. So one URL means one service. And out of a complete URL, we should know what is the meaning of each and every part of a URL. Right? So till this it's endpoint i did tell you now what about these the rest part rest part is nothing but a part of my resources the very first part is my first resource this is going to be my second resource third resource and fourth resource so how many resources are there four resources i can see right there are four resources so under one endpoint many resources can be can be present right and if i if i did show you with the help of a diagram what i can say if i say this is my complete url within a url let's say if if i'm talking about one url okay if i say it's my endpoint as http then localhost okay and after that what can be present here can be many resources am I right 
many resources can be there and for that case it is retail wrist uh, it's retail it's admin and one more as your log okay so after uh, after my endpoint many resources can be there so this is a kind of hierarchy after retail app rest retail can come you can't say after retail app rest you can use retail that is a separate url that is a separate resource that is a separate service provided by that web service on which we are currently working and that is nothing but retain our trust understood so this is about the uh, resources okay and resources plus endpoint is going to give me a complete url now the next thing which you should know is about the operations the about the uh, a request which i am going to fire if you see here the list of all the urls which are there yes after each and every url there is something written as post and if you see some further urls see it is put and it's get delete so these all are what these all are the method types which i'm going to on which i'm going to work understand so now let's discuss about these two topics right now crude operations crude operations are what crude operations are the operations which i can fire on any of the web application or my desktop application so what i can say any of the application which i am going to work it should be related with any of the one operation which are coming from crude that is crude means what see c means create r means retrieve u means update and d means delete okay so these four are the operations which i can which i can perform but these crude are not coming these crude are not related with these delete get so i so i should map it to one of the method which i am going to fire okay so the method which are actually we are going to use is these get post put and delete now if i relate these four things these four operations with my methods so what i can say for creation we are going to use post for retrieval we are going to use get for update we are going to use put and for delete we are going to use delete method understand so these are the operations create retrieve update and delete and these are the method types which i am going to fire okay so this is the theoretical part now let's see how i can say which of the operation is this one which of the operation is put one, uh, put or delete let's if i open the yahoo.com site and uh, uh, okay okay instead of this say if i write so pui tutorials okay so what i am getting if i just copy this part so this link is what the link which i am getting after filing the first request is this one so this complete thing is what this is my url right this is my url so anything which you are going to fire on the internet is going to give you something in the format of url link okay so out of this till ping.com is my endpoint and after that these are the resources okay so now see so few tutorials i did right and what i am getting i am getting it complete getting complete thing within the url so this is the first request which i am showing you this is what this is a request which is of get type here okay so what kind of request it is it is a get request which is to retrieval which is to retrieve something okay so what i can say if i am going to fire any of the request for the first time it will be my it will be my get request so by default the request which i am going to fire within the soap ui tool is is the get request so now what about the other request say if i open yahoo.com and after that if i mention 
my username or password say if i write priya mischel 238 and after that if i write password like this okay then i click on sign in so what it is giving me it is giving me that it's wrong username and it is navigating me to the next page as it's wrong user invalid one right but see i'm not getting it within my url not getting my username and password within the url right it is not even uh, mentioning my uh, username it's priya nischa 23 so what does it means it is just giving me the page name that this page i am currently so what does it mean what kind of request it is it is a post post means create okay so it is the post kind of method the request which i am going to find it, here it is get so what is the difference between get and post the difference between get and post is that within get you are going to see each and every detail within the url within the link which you are passing but for post no such case okay so this is the first difference the second difference is you are going to save the value save all the values for username and password only if you are using get okay cookies uh, it's cookies is the thing in which everything is going to save but what about post no such thing we can't save anything within cookie okay so get is not as much secure post is very much secure okay there are lots of difference between both so get is something which is going to be fair by default but we need to change it to post if we need a, a request type as post to the fair. okay now what about update use for update what i can say which kind of request it is See, update is something update is something we, uh, when i'm going to file any update request say if i if i was if say if i am able to log in into my account if i write the correct username and password okay then if i open news okay and see if i want if i want out of my mail i want anything to change if i want anything updation so what I can do? How I can do? Can I change it? So what is the solution for this? Is the request type? Yes, we can change. I, I said, can we change it? We can change, but only the thing is, what's the thing? Only the thing is, we should be login first, and then we can fire. Then we can fire the update command. So when we are trying to update something, when we are trying to update our phone number, update my name, change my name. So that kind of request is put method. The method type is put and the request type is update. Understand? So updations means, updations means I want to update, I want to change and put kind of request the method I'm going to fire. Okay. And the last thing is D. When we are going to fire D, D is for delete. What does it mean when I want to delete my account, when I want to delete my username and, or uh, when I want to delete my phone number out of the uh, credentials. So that kind of thing is delete. Okay. So where these four operations I'm going to use get is something when I want to retrieve something. Post is something when I want to fire such kind of request in which I do need privacy. I can't share that thing with anyone. You can say if you are going to work with the uh, going to use your ATM pen, then you are going to find create. Create or uh, create is the request type and post is the method. Okay. And update when you want to update anything, then that kind of request is put. And delete if you want to delete them. So if I relate all these things with my request types, what I can say, each and every URL is going to relate with one method. Okay. If you see any of the URLs, see, first one is the endpoint till 8080. After that, it's resources, child resources, a list of resources. See, the, it's a different kind of uh, resource which we'll discuss in parameters topic. Okay. But right now, I'm just telling you about the resources, the endpoint, and the method type. So, these four things, uh, these three things resources, endpoint, method type, which you should know when you are going to work with the any of the web service test okay and if i say uh, if i explain you the same thing with the 
Okay, see this was the last where I left. It's my endpoint. It's my resources. And what about method? If I make the method over here, how I can relate it? Method is something. Method is something which is related to one URL. A complete URL, as I did tell you in the starting. This is my first one URL. Within one URL, we have one endpoint and multiple resources. Right? I did tell you this thing. So with one URL, one method type is surely be there. Okay, so this is all about how I can say this is one, this is my method. Okay, done. So this is all about all the topics and okay, one URL means one service. You should know your each and every URL within a uh, list of all the URLs. Uh, these are nothing but the services which that web service can provide. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.